come along today guys as i am searching for some furniture to go in a booth yes you heard that right a booth we have signed up for a booth at the vendors village in danville and we're excited about getting that set up we're still on a waiting list but we want to go ahead and get prepared for it before we get started i just want to welcome you if you're new here at fam my name is Rebecca. I do a lot of thrift with me and home decorating. Come along with me as I look for items to flip. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I almost forgot about the sign, guys. So I'm going to use this in my booth. And that's going to be the name of my booth, Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. I made this sign many years ago for a little office or craft room that I had created in our last home, but I decided not to do just DIYs, and I moved on from that, and I almost forgot. I found this out in the garage, so this sign is just going to be perfect. If you guys remember, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. And this shelf was a dark color and I painted it. I am thinking about taking this out of here and using in my booth. Uh, it would just be perfect. I may, while I'm out and about, if I find another one, I may go ahead and pick it up and paint it and leave this one. But I have another piece of furniture that I'm thinking about moving in here. And what I would do with my quilts, I've seen this wonderful idea on Pinterest about using a high ladder back chair for uh, my quilts. And I love that idea. So I don't know. We'll see. But I am thinking about uh, taking this one to the booth and using it and doing something different in here in my sewing room. All that being said, guys, let's go thrifting. We're at the Goodwill in Danville, Kentucky. As I entered the door, I noticed that, yep, do you see it? The color tag is yellow, but that's on clothing only. A lot of our Goodwills around here do not do anything but the clothing on a tag sale. I spotted this bag of fruit, but there was only about four pieces in it that I would have really liked. That was the pears, but for $4.99, I just put them back on the shelf and moved on. Oh, I think I spotted something I might like, this candlestick. So let me see what this looks like, but I don't know. I thought it looked a little odd at the top with that metal piece on it. So I just put it back on the shelf and just said no to this. I don't have a clue what those metal buildings were for, but wait, but look, baskets with some jute string around them. How cute are these guys? I, I'm pretty sure they were like $2.99 each. So yes, this is a go. I'm gonna get all three of these. These are going in my cart. It wasn't too busy here today. It was on a Tuesday. I did ask them if they had a senior's day, and they do not. They just have the tag sales. Look, guys, what I spotted, this little urn. It's made out of metal, and that's going in my cart. I think it was $2.99, maybe $1.99, but it's definitely going in my cart and going home with me. And I definitely can resell that in the booth. So guys, I move everything around. You never know what you're gonna find under there. So I like to sort of move everything around as I go so that I can see all of the items. In the corner here, I want you to look at that. Guys, 
That is the Spice of Life Corning Wear, and I have the whole set. I think the large one said $12.99, which isn't a bad price. It is a vintage set. They had all kinds of knickknacks sitting on the end cap here, and I did see this glass pumpkin, but I didn't want it for myself, and I didn't know how it would sell for $4.99, so I just left it on the shelf. I was looking through some of the picture frames, see if I seen any uh, ornate picture frames that uh, would be nice, but these were sort of all small anyway. just now noticed that new wall art there under that picture going through the video. Bought it this little creamer here, and I thought it might be a piece of ironstone, but it was just so disappointing. Made in China, three ninety nine. Ouch. I'm looking through some of the cups. I'm looking for just the plain white cups that would look really, really cute just to put a little house plant in. And I spotted these two right here. But when I got up to check out, they had a chip on them. So I changed my mind on it because you will see that they were put in my cart, but I decided at the register not to keep them. There's not too many times that I don't pick up a cutting board, no matter what it looks like. This one looks like it's had some wear to it, but I believe I can do something with it and flip that in the booth. You guys see what I see? It looks like a bread box. Yep, this is going in my cart for $6.99. Although it doesn't have the glass, I have some chicken wire that will look great. Maybe put a decal and paint this uh, white, distress it a little bit, and I think it'll be a great seller, and I think it'll sell fast in the booth. I spotted this little white vase. I don't like the florals in it, but I love the details of this vase. They have three ninety nine. dollars so I'm going to put it in my cart, and I'm going to try to get that out, but I just want the vase alone, so I think it's very pretty. If someone's planning a big 4th of July party, look at all these beautiful dishes. Looking through all the items on this end cap, I did spot this little sheep, 
And if I can get this little bow tie off of its neck, I think it will look adorable. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little with some, maybe some baking soda and see if I can't clean it up first before thinking about painting it. But I think he's adorable and he's going in my cart. I like to always take the time to look at the platters. I'm looking for some ironstone, not made in China, but the two platters that they had that looked like they had some age uh, just was just too brown, not very white. So I just passed on all of these platters today. I am taking the time to go through the seasonal things just to see what I can see and if there is something that will sell in the booth for the upcoming year, I'm going to see what I can find that will sell in the booth. I spotted the Ziploc bags of silverware and a couple of them did look old. I couldn't find a date on them. I sort of wish I had picked some up because I love how these look in a little white pitcher or creamer. I had been looking for some and this Goodwill had good prices, so I sort of missed out on that. I never know. Um, when I go back, I'll check and see if they still have them. I'm also looking for a small lamp to go on my hutch or in the booth or in my kitchen on a tray. I have one at home I bought from Hobby Lobby years ago. Then it was $14.99 and I got it for half off, so $7.50. But guys, the last time I priced them in Hobby Lobby, they were $35 for a very small lamp, just very small ones. I was so disappointed, so I am on the lookout for small lamps. I came across this end cap and it had some wreaths on it. I believe it was $7.99 for this wreath, and I just love everything that's on it. And I think I can touch up on this and resell it in my booth and make it look presentable and probably double my money, maybe triple my money on that. Look at this adorable little snowman tag on this stocking with the twigs sticking out the top. He's going in my cart. Yep, those two guys there are cute too. They're coming along with me. $1.99 on this wood snowman. And look at his cute little carrot nose. He's going in the cart. I guess you can say these cute little snowmen just melt my heart. They're both going home with me. Guys, if you can find some greenery that you can put in a vase or decorate in your booth or at home, and it's in great shape, this was just 99 cents. It's going home with me because I'm sure I can use it in my booth during the holiday season. I don't know how I missed these packages of snowballs for it. Uh, they were a little on the pricey side for $5.99, so yeah, I don't feel so bad about overlooking them. Sometimes you don't see things until after you're at home going through the video, and then you're like, oh, how did I miss that? But it happens. Okay, I'm just going through the baskets and then I'm going to check out and I'm going to show you what I got when I get home. I've got a lot more of this. I've got a booth to fill up and we're going to do a lot of thrifting to find items for the booth. I didn't find any furniture today. That's what I went out looking for, but I didn't have the truck anyway. Uh, Larry has it, so I couldn't have picked anything up, but when I see it, we will get it, and I'll let you know. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.